It has been exactly one year since I brought the Skywatcher Wave 100i. How has it been? This is going to be an extremely quick and simple video because, to be honest, there's not much to cover. You've all seen the initial video of the unboxing and the two months on, which did very well, and I muchly appreciate that. But this mount, there's not much to cover. So initially, when I purchased the mount, everything was fine, never had a problem. Then I encountered a strange issue with the seat, the foot, and the saddle. I don't exactly know what it's called personally. It was the wrong way around. So I ended up having to install the app on my phone. And then there was a firmware update. So I was like, okay, we'll just do the firmware. I did encounter an issue with EQ mod after around four months of using it the mounts refused to connect so i did swap to green swamp server and personally i prefer it a lot better it's a lot more easier to use as well as it can show you actually where your telescope position is after that i can honestly say the only problems i've had with this mount is running into the pier and that's with the bigger telescopes um, otherwise i've not had any issues whatsoever i've heard some people have had some very funky issues but otherwise it's been absolutely solid for me can i recommend it yes is it good yes does it have a learning curve not particularly no the only thing I'd probably say is to watch your scope, especially if a bigger one or if you have a shorter tripod. If you have a shorter tripod, that's where I would start being a bit more cautious or you've got a bigger scope as the mount, when it hits the tripod or if you've got a peel like what I've got, it's powerful. It's a very powerful, strong mount. So it will cause damage. Um, my big 200P, yes, it's caused some damage to that. I've got a nice dent in it now, which is lovely. Um, I can't fix it, it's probably bothered. But with it being so strong and powerful, I've been in the process of testing this scope from SV Bowman. And you may have seen, you may not have seen in my last video, it was windy. You could see the trees in the background and it's been very windy here in the UK for the last couple of weeks. This, it doesn't affect it at all. It's just absolutely solid. And if I'm using a smaller, say 400 millimeter refractor, you don't notice the wind whatsoever. This, yeah, this size, it's not bad. The 200p, slight, but it's fine. Uh, I think the biggest selling point about these mounts, these strain wave mounts, is the fact you don't need counterweights. And I've got plugs just underneath this. I've changed it now because I've now got the power box. But when I had multiple plugs and I had to keep switching them around, I kept smacking my head on that stupid pole for the counterweight. So, mm, <laughs> not the best thing going. But, it's been one year on. And I can honestly say, I love the mount. Would I buy a second one? Yes. Would I buy the 150? I personally don't need it, but if I did by any chance end up with a bigger scope, then yes, I'd probably buy, definitely buy the 150i. I think one of the other big features or the other big selling points is it's a very lightweight mount compared to a lot of the other ones. So moving it around is extremely easy. Mine personally lives here. It's been in the house twice since I brought it a year ago. Otherwise, yeah, it's just lived here and it's worked flawlessly. 
and I'll still say to this time, star alignments, I love them. It's so easy. It really is easy. It's just, the knobs are just smooth and really nice to use and they lock down tight. So that's the whole pier moving, if you can see that moving. <laughs> that wasn't the mount. So yeah, it is good. Taking it to dark skies, definitely highly recommend it. Can I recommend the pier extension? Yes, personally. The problem with this mount is it's short. So I don't have the biggest hands and it's the size of my hand. I'm an extra large glove. So it's literally the size of my hand. So it, you do have the encounter where if I didn't have this, that is gonna run into the whatever it's connected to. So the pure extension, definitely. Your choice in which one you buy, you've got options. You can get the extension for the um, EQ5 mount, EQ6. Um, I think they come in black for the EQ6, but I failed to see one. So I just repainted mine. But otherwise, yeah. One year on, absolutely brilliant mount head. Can I recommend it? Yes. Oh, and one more thing, it's silent. <laughs> it's really silent, just forget sometimes it's running. But there we go. The Wave 100i Astrophotography mount head.